Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to our new reaction video. In this video, we are going to be reacting to the official trailer of the movie Animal. Animal. We've actually watched this movie on Netflix together, but we haven't watched the trailer together, so it's going to be another adventure. The movie was fantastic, so let's see how the trailer looks like. <laughs> this season, uh, this scene was yeah. funny and scary. I don't know if it's funny. Kind of like sad. This is weird and sad at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> he adores you. You must be a superhero. Then we can't give you 10 minutes. I've cut my hair. I've got a little bit of a 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 hair. I'll grow it again, Papa. The relationship is... It's awful. It's weird. It's awful. The way, the way he treats his son is so bad. That's true. I know what I'm saying. Criminal is our daughter. Oh. This movie is really violent. Yeah. Too violent. It's the weirdest family ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a functional family or a no, dysfunctional family. Down a functional family. <laughs> the songs are really beautiful though. Songs, yeah. I mean, both of them end up being super sick. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, this guy was another weird oh, guy. Was weird. <laughs> I didn't like that scene at all. They had good bodies though. Yeah. Makes me really uneasy. That movie was What's really funny good. is in this trailer, so in my opinion, the best song in the movie is the Papa song. Yeah. It's, it's we were both humming the whole time, right? Oh afterward. God, yeah. Gets I mean, it's like head. I go in the bathroom, you're like humming this song it's, and then... Yeah. You come to the living room, I'm hum humming the song. Uh, uh, uh. But I'm actually surprised they don't have that song in the trailer. True, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? They have the other one. That was the, I think that was like the best <laughs> thing about the movie, honestly. And uh, yeah, the relationship between Yeah, and I think the, the, the sad part of that movie yeah. is that he has a really dysfunctional relationship with his dad and he yeah. seems to spend most of his life running after like uh approval from his dad yeah. but then as the dad himself he sucks yeah because he spends more time running after no he spends more time running after the approval of his dad than being a dad himself yeah like he's always True. constantly his avenging kids, yeah. his dad and kind of like forgetting about his his, his own wife kids. and kid and then he realized like oh 
what I suffered from when I was a kid. I yeah. am literally doing it to my kid. Exactly, yeah. Being that was an the absent dad. Being an absent dad, yeah. But there's a there's supposed to have an, a, a, a two, yeah. normally. I mean, the movie, the characters are so weird. That the movie becomes super interesting. It's r- it's it, right. <laughs> it, yeah, it's it's really something. Yeah, and many people criticized the movie in India because really, okay. not because of the storyline or like the movie. Th- I mean, just to look at it as a movie itself, mm-hmm. but s- the way the characters are made. I think he in some scenes he like identifies himself as an alpha male. And for uh, sure the way he treats his wife is really bad also really bad i mean the way he treats anyone in the movie yeah, yeah, is yeah. really bad but especially his wife because she's been there with him yeah. supporting him sacrificing so much for him and he treats her like she's a burden i guess just at the beginning he the relationship was romantic mm. but i think later on it just becomes about him yeah and his dad. avenging his dad's you know like almost murder yeah that's uh yeah i mean those things they just stay and one other thing i kind of notice it's more like psychological uh so he his dad treats him bad and what happens is like he has such strong like affection for his dad and the way his dad treats him he starts to treat everyone around him in that way mm. his wife his mom is i don't know anyone yeah. anyone the, he kind of you know like treats them really badly and uh one other thing i wanted to talk about is his cousins he goes to like you know like to meet with his cousins yeah. he wants them to be with him as whatever like bodyguards soldiers protectors Uh, uh whichever word suits but the thing is were they all jobless i think they were waiting for him <laughs> it's like they were waiting maybe they all left though. their jobs for him but now because they were all living in this maybe tiny maybe village maybe it was a weekend or holiday or something uh, yeah i don't know like i don't know. know i think they came for s- maybe for a reason oh maybe he offered them uh, i think maybe he pays them is is a rich guy is oh i, I think his dad is supposed to be the richest guy in I'm the country he has to be paying them there is yeah, no way they can probably. survive well i guess in that sense yeah they can give up on whatever they were doing and yeah, i mean it's a job what the they guy. are doing at the end of the day right? yeah i'm talking about you know like so far we have talked about ranbir kapoor's character and uh like going back to this guy the <laughs> this guy the was, villain this guy he amazing. he also had you know like a similarly weird character right for sure like that's i think that's the theme of the movie it's like two bad mm-hmm. characters who are related of I course i think what's also making together. them scary yeah is they're unpredictable they're unpredictable yeah too oh uh, especially this i mean Ranbir Kapoor as well in this movie is unpredictable yeah, yeah, yeah. but this guy is even more unpredictable right It's like one moment they are like super nice and happy the next moment they are murdering the person next to them yeah. and then you're like okay Well I mean in a way it makes sense why so many people criticized it uh, you, you know like you were saying Ranbir Kapoor he treated his wife really bad mm. and then this guy again he also treats mm, yeah, the women course. around him in a really bad way Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But I think the women of this movie are really not yeah well treated all of them yeah and uh well I mean that's why it was I mean it's just a two two peop like movie uh, based on one family I don't think we need to be criticizing the whole society because oh I'm not criticizing the society I'm yeah. just saying no, that no no the people who are oh, okay. criticizing the movie no I I think yeah th- this does not represent Indian society in uh, any in any way it's just two families that is for sure yeah that is for sure i think that is quite obvious isn't it yeah but just you know like from the perspective of a movie watcher i thoroughly enjoyed this movie in this i don't uh, know if i enjoyed fully this movie mm. it was interesting but it made me feel really uncomfortable yeah at times yeah i mean that well uh, 
a lot of the good movies you know that which are like psychological mm. thrillers kind of movies they're not exactly <laughs> i guess so a, a yeah a smooth journey right in that sense yeah Mm-mm-mm. yeah cool so yeah. it's a uh, weird maybe movie. <laughs> The name of the movie should be weird, weird movie. rather than <laughs> animal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's why it's also like the animal instinct. Yeah, yeah. I guess. I mean, that's how I feel as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, th- like you were saying, unpredictable. Yeah. That's basically mm-hmm. like being an animal. It's an animalistic behavior, right? Cool. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed our uh, analysis of the movie. Uh, with that we'd like to say bye bye and uh thank you for watching thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe bye bye bye